Should you create a digital course? Man, that's a tough question to answer. Hey, Mark Nelson here, and I'm gonna answer that today. I'm gonna to tell you about five courses that you could be building. Hey, here's what I'd love you to do. Hang on to the very end, because the very end I got a great offer I'm gonna share with you. But if you would hit that subscription notification, that subscription button and that notification bell, it goes ding. I'd certainly love it. Share this with your friends and family. So get this message out. I've been asked this question by so many friends, so many teachers, so many customers, so many clients. Should you create a digital course? And here's my answer. Yes. Now is the time. Now is the time that we need people making courses and helping out in right now we're at in this world. So let me tell you a story. Before I get started, I am a high school math teacher. Been one for a long time. Went to college for about, oh, I think it was four and a half, five years, got my undergrad with an emphasis on, in education, emphasis on mathematics and a degree in business administration. And I started teaching, I went back to get my master's in administration. And I, I you know, I like college. This isn't bashing college because I learned a ton in college, but it was more on how, how to live making no money than it was actually learning things in classes. Then what happened, I started getting this idea, I had more value in this world than what I'm giving. So I thought, I'm gonna go online, I'm gonna start teaching people how to solve their problems. And I really didn't know how to do it. So what I did, there, there's this, uh, ah, can't think of the word, ILT, abbreviation, I guess, it means invest, learn, and teach, meaning invest either your time or money, you learn something, you teach it, much like I did in teaching, because I didn't know how to teach right when I first got started, that's why I went to college. And then, guess what, I had to go out and learn once I got teaching because I really didn't learn everything I was doing in college. I learned what I had to do at night at college, which was a lot of fun. But <laughs> anyway, when I started this journey, I had to go out and buy courses. And I want to tell you something. I learned more in those courses that I bought than I ever did in any college class. Now, maybe it was because where I was in my life, maybe because I was really interested, but I went out and I bought and learned. And I went through a degree of my courses. I, I didn't want to, I wanted to do everything free for a while. Not saying that's the right way to go because I, I really, it stalled me. Then I started buying courses and I'd buy one inexpensive. And then I bought, bought a couple that were more expensive. And usually the more expensive ones, it's a, it's a better deal if you buy initially or you can buy it, they'll give you a monthly package. And then I started buying some big ones and the big ones did ah. Unbelievable how much I learned from those things. So, should you, should you create a digital course? My answer is a resounding yes. We need it more than ever. The why I get asked that is because everybody thinks the digital course market is flooded, and it is. There are a ton of courses out there. But you know what? My market is different than your market. The people that listen to me are going to listen to you more than, the people that listen to me will listen to me more than they do you, but the people who wanna to listen to you are gonna to listen to you. We all have different voices. See, I just put out a course, I did a webinar last night, put out a course, it's an unbelievable course, and I'll explain it later as I get into this. And I'll actually put you a link so you can get it. It's my, I put so much blood into this thing. But you know what? All it is, is much like in teaching. See, I didn't invent how to teach math. I just perfected it my way. Emphasis on perfected. <laughs> now, in the digital world, that's what happens too. So you go out and buy a course, do some learning, and then you create a course out using your knowledge. Learn how to build a course. And I actually am putting together a product teaching people how to build their own digital course. I am so excited about it because I know I'm going to help you big time. So let's go on with this thing. There are five different types of courses. And I think I've done three of them. 
The first one is what they call a workshop course. Now, I don't know if you've ever been on a webinar. That's kind of what it's like. Except usually a workshop course is a live training. For two hours, you, people charge for it. Might be $27, $47. But then at the end, because they over-deliver, they make an offer to a different course. Very great way to get started building courses. I've never done one of those. I've done webinars. I've always done webinars. In a webinar, I don't charge for them. They're free. But I'll do a training for you know, an hour to maybe an hour and a half. Probably an hour usually I try to keep it by. And the reason why, if you're on a webinar, people's attention spans are start losing. So I, I do mine for about an hour and then I ask if it's okay if I do an offer because that's what it is. I'm going to train a little bit. I'm going to share just enough to pique somebody's interest and then I'm going to make them an offer that will take them somewhere else. So the first one's a workshop course. The second one is called a starter course. Now that's where I got my start. In fact, most of my students, that's where they get at. And part of it's a comfort level, right? So my starter course is called My Digital Marketing Blueprint. I forgot about what it's called. Um, and it's a starter package. I initially put it out for $47. And it was a four-module course. I gave them, uh, I taught them how to do a their lead magnet. I gave them a series of emails. I, I taught them how to build their own website uh, called a funnel. And it, it was a great course. Well, since I've enhanced it, it's now my course is at $97. Great course, and it, it gets sold all the time. Uh, that's called a starter course. Okay, now the third one, number one, two, three, see math teacher, one, two, three. And I tell people, I teach high school kids, and I tell kids to count on their fingers or their toes, whatever they do, because uh, math's math, right? You're either great at numbers or numbers kind of suck. Anyway, I was at the Spotlight course. Now, the Spotlight course is really, it's a little bit more expensive course. And somebody's really sharing their technique on one thing. One thing. Could be um, to teach people how to open their yoga studio. Could maybe teach people how to open up a photography office. Could teach people how to get the correct golf swing. Could teach people, but their emphasis on one thing. Okay, so we usually have, again, opening up the workshop course, 27 to 47. Starter course is 47 to 97, maybe 197. Then we have the spotlight course, like 197, 297, 49. And all of these are very lucrative. Then the fourth one is called a core course. Or maybe it's called a signature course. That's where you, it takes a long time to build out. But you're giving them, putting all the nuts and bolts in it. All, everything you got. And it takes, it's usually a six to eight module course that will take people six to eight weeks to get through. Some people have at the beginning of the year, they call them business courses. Some people at the end of the year, so it's the, before the start of the next year, so people can get started on that next year. That was my webinar is about with, with my signature course, my core course. Okay, and it's how to build a six-figure business. I'm very excited about it. It takes a long time, but I, I, I'll tell you what I did See, I wanted to get it out because the timing for it is right. So I built two modules, okay? And the two modules each are a week long and I set them up, they kind of drip on people. So you come in and you, you do a, listen to a video, do an activity, and then you go to the next one. And then you go to the next one. So the first module will take a week. Then I give them the weekend off or a couple days off, they come back and do module two, okay? And the same thing, it's four or, five, four or five trainings inside a module, you got activities, but I want them to dig in to things. And guess what? I've only created the first two. And I launched my course. But I'm creating the third week now, then the fourth module, then the fifth module. I'm going eight modules. I'm very excited about it. And I'll always be ahead. And when I'm done, I have a very high signature course. Now, my course... Now, I'm very excited about that course. That's called a six-figure, how to build a six-figure business. It's very cool. And if you've never built a business before, six figures should be where you're headed out. Now, the last course is called, <coughs> excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. The certification course. These can be very expensive, very expensive. 
Your signature course can be anywhere from $497, $597, $797, $1497, $1497, $1497, and on and on. But usually the, the certification course are, are the big ones. And sometimes it could be like Zig Ziglar has a certification for coaching. So does John Maxwell. And you go through a training for a period of time and they cost money. Could be $10,000, could be more. But when you're done, you're certified to be a coach. You're certified to do this. And great, great courses. Great courses. They really are. So there you have it. So let me, one, let's recap a little bit. We went through the question, should you start a digital course? Should you create one? Doggone yes, you should. People need to hear it right now more than ever. So the five courses, workshop, entry level, $27, $47, two-hour training, usually live, brings them to something else. The next one's a starter course, $47, $97, $197, $297. The next one is called a signature course, and the signature course only focuses on one thing, and they could be from $197, $497, it, it, they can be priced anything, anybody can do whatever they want to with their pricing. Uh, and then we go to your core course or your signature course. And you see those from 597, 797, 997, excuse me, 1497, 2000, something like that. <clears throat> and then the, the big ticket ones, your certificate course. And, and that's really cool courses. So there you have it. Hey, I would love what I told you earlier. I have two things for you down below. I have a freebie, right? How to create an ebook and how to create a six-figure business. Then I have a link to my, my digital marketing blueprint. And then I'll put a link down below for my course, how to build a six-figure business. That is so cool. Hey, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button below. Hit that little bell that goes ding. And keep looking for my videos. Please make a comment if you like this. Hit me that thumbs up, like it, subscribe, hit that notification. And should you build a digital course? The answer is yes. Y'all take care.